Hello YouTube and welcome knife enthusiast. Today we have a bunch of free tiger knives to unbox. Uh, this one I got a while ago. Uh, kind of looks like a Sharangora ripoff, but uh, they would never make one in this cheap plastic and everything else. But despite all that, it's a really nice design. deep carry pocket clip uh, you can get the jeans all the way up in here nice action on it overall I've been pretty happy with this knife let's see if it's dropped shut not quite a little bit of shake in there, but like the way these boxes open. Now these uh, free tigers, uh, you can also find them as uh, tuna fire. So on eBay, they're sold both as free tiger and tuna fire, and a bunch of these same exact knives are also sold underneath the Sativian, uh, the ST name. And uh, you can also find them on eBay without any name on them at all. So uh, whatever factory is making these is definitely producing a ton of these in different names. Uh, the Free Tigers and the Tuna Fires are both around $20, $22 on eBay, which isn't bad. Uh, all these knives right here were all right around $20. I think one was less than $20. Uh, they did have one that was $27. I did not pick it up, but uh, pretty nice action here. Wow, look how dirty that blade is. So this is a first impression on a lot of these. Let's see if we can't wipe this off. But you can see this is, they are claiming it's D2 and it's FT901. I'm not sure if all the other brands, if they all use the same 901 number, it might be different on the front. The FT stands for Free Tiger, but uh, and you get Free Tiger up here badging and you got Free Tiger on that side. So double billboarding nice g10 handle same pocket clip as the other one uh the liners are milled out it's a pretty light knife knife uh not very heavy i don't have a scale so i can't measure these but this one definitely feels like it could use some oil or something it uh you kind of hear it's a little clunky sounding Pretty nice action on it. Nice handle scales. Feels good in the hand. So all these free tigers kind of drop shuddy, a little shake shuddy. But they all come with uh, these really, really thick uh, bags. I mean, these bags are really, really thick. Like the Gonzo bags are really, really thin. These things are extremely thick. Of course, I don't care about the bags. They just stay in the box. I don't store the knife in the box or nothing like that. So they are made in China. Of course, you probably knew that from the price. If you want to read the back, I'm not going to read it to you guys. You guys want to see more knife reviews like this make sure and hit that subscribe button definitely hit the like button and always always leave comments down below caution sharp blade handle with care 
If not, keep it folded. <laughs> keep it away from kids. All right, if you're not going to handle these with care, then you better keep them freaking folded. So let's get into the next one. This one does say FT955BK. The other box did not say what knife was in it. Uh, this one came in the pouch. And I'm not sure if the other one had this piece of paper here. Let's see what this is. Specialized in knives and tools. Free Tiger. I did not get this one with the access lock. I think I'm going to probably pick it up. I did pick up the one in the middle. I did not pick up this one in the back. I don't think I even seen that one. Oh, well, there's her social media. Yes, sir, on everything it looks like. I don't think I saw any of the free tigers on eBay, but I did see all these knives being sold on eBay for all different prices. Uh, some were cheap and some sellers were trying to sell these for like 50, 60 bucks. So don't do that. Just buy them under the free tiger name or the tuna fire name on, uh, Amazon. So that one had really nice flicking action. Uh, kind of don't care for the blade design on this. It's kind of too high right here. I think it needed cut down just a little bit more like a sheep's foot. Sheep's foot would have been really awesome with this. But for 20 bucks, D2. I don't necessarily have a blade like this. Probably be good in the kitchen for chopping. I think this has a black micarta handle. Which to get micarta handles for 20 bucks, I can't think of any other brand that offers micarta handles for $20. This does feel good in the hand. You already seen it had nice, nice action, real nice action. Uh, oh, goof that one up. But the lock up here, it's not real comfortable to disengage. I don't know. It kind of is, but Definitely have more comfortable liner locks to disengage in this one. So, got a bunch of these to get through, so let's just keep rolling on. Sorry, my hands, I know they always appear dirty to you guys. You guys always comment, but I'm a mechanic and they are clean. I do wash them. I wash them quite often, but... uh. It's really hard to get all the dirt out of them. So, we got the FT904BK. Like I told the ex-wife, though, once I wash them a couple times, uh, it's clean dirt now. You see, they all come different. This one has it wrapped around it. They're all in these bags, which this is not the normal, really cheap filling cellophane from China. This is more of a like a plastic bag fill. Like maybe even a little thicker than a lunch bag. Definitely thicker than the dollar store lunch bags. So this is a really cool design. I mean, I really like this one. This is G10 handle. But this one just feels really really good in the hand really really awesome looking knife absolutely love this thing 
not a deep carry pocket clip. Got an orange backspacer. But shake shutty. All these are shake shutty. They all might break in and be drop shutty. I don't know. Uh, these are all brand new. This is a first impressions on all of these, but this one that I already had. But the quality feels really good. For a $20 night, I mean, is there anybody doing anything better than this for 20 bucks? I don't know if it's real D2, but all these claim to be D2. They all have ball bearings. Uh, I think somebody took one of these apart and it actually had ceramic ball bearings and micarta handles. So, micarta handles and ceramic ball bearings for $20. I mean, you can't go wrong. Nice, nice hollow grind right here. Then it gets thick behind the tip. Man, I love the grind on this one. I bet that thing's a real slicer. Shake shutty. Seems like all these are going to be shake shutty. I uh, don't feel like anything has a real early detent track or nothing so far, but still really nice action. Awesome blade design on that. Absolutely love that blade design. Next one does not say what it is on it. See, it's wrapped up like that. Now, this one has a different filling cellophane. Still thick, still doesn't feel like the normal Chinese cellophane, but definitely has a different feel to it. And this one has a green micarta handle, which you can get in several different colors. This one is definitely sold under the Sativian brand name, and it's about $27, where this one's $21.99 if you buy it under the Free Tiger name. Wow, we get a bonus little blue string there. You know, I don't remember slipping this in my pocket when I got it, but I may have, because I really like this one. It has a nice deep pocket clip. Looks like uh, a Civivi, C Civivi pocket clip. Very nice G10 handles though. This one feels really good in the hand. Like This is definitely my favorite Free Tiger out of all of these. Love that drop point or spear point or whatever. Not spear point, but I guess this is a drop point. One of my favorite blade shapes. Absolutely love this blade shape. And the liners are milled out for weight reduction. This one is full shut too. This might be the one I saw the review on that had the ceramic bearings and awesome, awesome action. So far, none of these have any thumb studs or nothing. They're all just flippers. Besides this one with the goofy blade, which has a really awesome spidey flick. Man, you cannot beat that for $20. Like, are you kidding me? Just says D2 on the back. What did it say on the front? Free Tiger. All right, so we don't get the name of this one. Or the numbers, seeing how a lot of these have numbers and not names. But the disengagement's awesome on this. Awesome, awesome knife. Still got two more to get through here. Uh, this one does not have the name on it either. 
and it's packaged like the other ones. And this one's definitely my second favorite one. So I guess this one up here will be the third favorite, I guess. But this one's in another green micarta. And just the way they design this, this has the best reverse flick that I screwed up big time twice. Man, the other day when I was got these, I was doing the splitey flick perfect with this. But of course on camera, the camera makes everything harder. But it does have a amazing reverse flick. I mean, none of these have extremely, I don't know, like some knives really, when they lock up, have a satisfying lock-up sound. I mean, all these have good lock-ups, but this concept knife has a pretty good lock-up sound. Uh, nothing beats a Demco 8020 lock-up sound. Probably the one of the best fidget knives ever made. Got the QSP Penguin. Very satisfying lockup on that. But these are all brand new. Sometimes they're a little stiff coming out of the box. A uh, little bit of adjustment, a little bit of oil. Sometimes makes a huge difference. But disengagement's real nice on this one. Man, I just, the other day, this, just frustrating me now. Awesome blade shape, and unlike this one here, it's like a big chopper, like a meat cleaver. This, this there is every bit uh, a meat cleaver. For this one, definitely like the blade shape a hell of a lot more. And this might be black micarta. Because it looks just like the green micarta. But really, really awesome knife. And we just get D2. It does not say... Which knife that is. So I'm sorry that these don't say what knife they are. I'd have to look back at my Amazon purchases to even find out, I guess. Saying how the boxes don't say it. I think only one box said what it was. And this one too came inside the pouch. And this has really cheap Chinese fill in cellophane. So it's weird that all of these have different filling cellophane. They all had the same pouch that felt the same. But the cellophane definitely felt different. And this one was not listed as a spring assisted, but it definitely is a spring assisted knife, which is a I really like it though. G10 handle scales. Not a deep carry pocket clip. And that pocket clip, that looks like a Kershaw. Like the shape of it up here, everything about this clip looks like and screams Kershaw to me. Even the knife design kind of looks like a Kershaw. Not so much the blade shape, but then the action, how it's spring-assisted, 
kind of feels like a Kershaw. So, I don't know if they copied a Kershaw. I think this might have been one of their first models that they came out with. Of course, because of the spring assist, it has amazing action. Not going to be drop shot, though, because of the spring assist. It catches right there. So you can see it just flings and locks back up. But besides the spring assist, not a bad night. So let me know down below which one was your favorite. And let me know if there's a better knife brand out there for $20. Because every one of these was $20. The reason I didn't buy their $27 one was kind of what I, I wanted to show you guys how you could get micarta handles and ball bearings for 20 bucks. This one was uh, 16 or 18 So this was the cheapest one out of all of them. This one's definitely my favorite. Love that knife. Perfect pocket clip, just everything about it. That, that's a pretty close second or third there. Definitely happy I picked these up. Can't go wrong for 20 bucks. So thanks for watching. Let me know which one was your favorite. And have an awesome day.